Hey there, did I tell you about my new best friend, Peyton Manning, and that I'm in a TV show with him on the History Channel? It's true, and you should check it out tonight, 10 p.m. Eastern, on the History Channel. It's called Peyton Manning's Greatest of All Time, and tonight we'll be talking about the greatest duos of all time, like Woodward and Bernstein. Here's a clip from an earlier episode on great business titans. Our next titan is another robber baron OG. There is no question that Carnegie belongs in a top 10 list of business titans in American history. Much of what's going to mark the expansion and development of America in the late 19th century is going to be skyscrapers and railroads and factories. And Carnegie is instrumental in making those two things happen. Over the decades, he climbs the ladder of success from working in a telegraph office to then working in a railroad business. And then he goes on from there to become the great steel king in the late 19th century. And the thing that's important about Carnegie and steel is that steel is the transformative substance of this period. It changes everything from surgical instruments to weaponry to building structures to factory machinery. Everything is changed by steel. Carnegie retires kind of early and devotes the rest of his life to philanthropic endeavors. He really commits himself to giving away almost all of his wealth. He famously said, a man who dies rich dies disgraced.